The other kind of mask we have is a clipping mask. Let's just first get rid of this layer mask here. Let's go up to layer and layer mask. Let's delete that layer mask. There we go. We're now going to make a clipping mask out of this. Now I'm going to just demonstrate this. We'll come down here. I'll put a new layer in underneath of this. Actually, I'm going to do a new file on this, make it real clean and easy to see. Do a blank file. And I'll want two layers on here. There we go, layer one and a background. I'll double click that and make that layer zero. I'll, there we go. Let's put a color on this layer. Let us choose a new color over here. This kind of a dark blue. And let's fill that. So we have a layer here with content on that layer. And then down below on layer one, I'm going to be putting a shape on this layer. Let's go to our shape tool and let's do a custom shape tool. I'll use that fish that was still there. We can hide this layer temporarily. There we go. Let's draw that fish in. It fills, of course, with this color that we had here. Let's change that fill color. There we go. Now I'm going to go to our layer just above this fish layer, this layer here, and go to Layer, Create Clipping Mask. And let's show that again. There we go. And you can see what happens with the clipping mask. It takes the contents of this layer and places that into the shape on this layer. Now this shape can be anything you've drawn down here. It can be text if you have your, you know, place your text and convert that text into a layer. So it takes this, con this content here and places it inside of the shape on that layer so I can show or hide that. Now one of the uses here would be to have several different colors which I can then switch between if I needed to for any reason or other uses. Let's now go back to our other file and I'll show you how we can use that. Let's put a new layer right here. There's our new layer. Let's go back to our shapes. I'll keep that fish on there. And I'll draw the fish right in here, kind of like that. There's the fish. Let's go up here to our picture layer. Layer, create clipping mask. And there we go. There is that boat picture inside of that fish shape. Notice that I'm on my boat picture here. And I can move that picture around inside of the shape. If I move the shape, notice how everything is nicely locked together. And it acts just like I had drawn this or painted this onto my fish shape. So there you go. That's how you make these layer masks or clipping masks rather right down there. Very interesting, very neat tool to use. And you can have a lot of fun with that. And this is the easy way to put content inside of shapes and also put content inside of letters as well if you convert the letter to a graphic object by simplifying the, le the letter. And of course, if I hide that, that thing goes away. We're going to bring it back in again. Okay, that finishes off our look up here at our layers and masks. Let's now move back over to the layers panel in the next video. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.